Never in my life did I imagine making it to the finish line in recovery sandals. My name is Yuma Haidara. I am a veteran, marathoner, and commercial truck driver. Everyone in my running group had UFOs. I just didn't get it. The first time I tried on UFOs was after a 200-mile team relay race. The way my mind, my body, and my feet felt was incredible. In the Navy, I was part of a small organization called the Seabees. My rate was a builder. We had to be combat ready at all times, and we were trained for every situation. Marathon training for me was way harder than my Navy training. It is three to four months of exhaustion and pushing my body and mind, but you have to fit it in. It is not part of your daily schedule. My job as a trucker is not conducive to potentially getting faster or exceeding in running. We work 14 hour days, driving 11 of those 14 hours. I do whatever I can to fit my training in with my schedule, even if that means going from a run from a truck stop a few miles down the road and back at the end of the day. It is very counterproductive when I have to sit in my truck after a long run day because I can never recover and stretch enough for how much I sit in the truck. My back and hips become so stiff from being sedentary, but with running, I need those muscles to work. I find that yoga and stretching is important for me to rejuvenate my body, but there is something so healing about being active outside. I was running for an organization called the Home Base Program. They have helped so many veterans get through their darkest moments. 22 veterans every day take their own lives because of their invisible wounds. Home Base is doing something very important to stop that. Within a mile of the New York City Marathon, I knew something was wrong. With every step, I could feel a sharp pain running up my leg and into my gut. By mile five, I called my friends in tears. I needed them to bring me my UFO so I could finish this race. The pain I was feeling from the impact of my running shoes was so excruciating. When I had my UFOs on, I felt no pain. I ran the entire race in my UFO slides. When I got to the finish line of the New York City Marathon, I remember thinking, I did it. I completed something so great while being in so much pain, but for something so much bigger than myself. I went through the home base program myself. I don't know what I would have done without it. For the first time since the military, I was with people that can relate to me on a level that no one else can. That bond is something that lasts a lifetime. Since discovering UFOs, I wear them everywhere, after skiing, after hiking, or just even walking around. I don't know how I live without them. I'm obsessed with them. I wear UFOs because they get me through one mile at a time. <laughs>